Hello and welcome to another Road to 100 video. Today we are trying to get our last 9 kills with the 4570 Buffalo Rifle here on White Rhyme Ridge. And despite the fact that we need 9 kills, there's actually going to be 11 kills in this video, which will be explained later. But before we do anything else, we're going to go ahead and draw the winner of the next subscriber hunt. And I do apologize for the delay. Uh, I wanted to do it a week after the last uh, the subscriber hunt video. Uh, but things kept coming up and I had to keep pushing it back. So let's go ahead and do that. And the winner of the next subscriber hunt is Price Jamison. So if you can comment on this video with your the hunter username and I'll get in contact with you there and we can set up a time for a subscriber hunt. So congratulations to you. So I'll show you where we're at and there's actually a female moose behind us. So we'll call that our way a bit while I'm showing you. And she's actually not in the direction we're going to go. So we'll shoot her and then turn around. But we spawned here and we're just going to move in this general direction. As I always do when I'm kind of running and gunning White Rhyme Ridge. So if we have a decent angle at this moose, we can just take the shot now. Although she is in some brush. So we'll just kind of walk her way. Let her step out of that. I was actually thinking earlier, I've only had one rare moose on White Rhyme Ridge, despite the fact that I have hunted it a lot. I don't know how many moose I've killed on the map, but definitely just the one rare. I've actually had more on Red Feather Falls, and I've definitely killed more moose, I would say, on White Rhyme Ridge. Alright, that should have caught a lung. That wasn't exactly what I wanted, but should take her down. But anyway, yeah, she just dropped. I was just thinking about that, and it would be pretty cool to get a rare moose, uh, maybe in this hunt or in a future hunt, but uh, I have definitely killed more moose that score over 200 on this map than on any other map, so I guess that kind of balances out. I was just thinking, uh, I've been all over this map and killed one rare period, actually. I've not had any rare bison, rare stitka deer, or anything like that, so I'm sure that'll come someday. Right lung intestine on our first kill. One down, eight to go. Alright, we got another female moose up here. We'll just take her out. I love this rifle, I really do. It has quickly become my favorite classic rifle. Obviously being the most powerful of the five. Does it count as a classic rifle? I think it does. It's got like the the scope that runs the length of the barrel, so if that doesn't help the cause, I don't know what else would. But two moose down. Two females, hopefully we start finding males. So the double lung with the 4570 will drop a moose, which is really nice. And we've got a probably small bull based on the weight of the tracks. It most likely spooked, and honestly, since it's going to be small, I'm not going to chase after it. So we'll just continue along our line. All right, so we got a bull moose out here. Pretty small one. It's not the one we had the track from, though. I think that's just a cow moose. It definitely is. I don't see anything else, so we'll take the bull. Not sure if we can drop it from this range, but we should be able to get a pretty solid hit on it. We can definitely drop it from this range. Not bad. I've not really used this rifle over like 200 meters. Uh, I've dropped a couple of moose specifically with heart shots, but usually at that angle... I probably wouldn't even take the shot, but I wanted to try it out, and it definitely performed up to, or maybe above, expectations there. Dropping the moose in his tracks. But yeah, if you guys don't have this rifle, um, it's really fun to hunt with. Especially just the single shot, uh, kind of classic feel to it. That's just something cool to me like that. Uh, realistic aspect, I guess, um, of having the single shot as opposed to the lever action, obviously... Uh, the lever action is realistic as well. I just mean, uh, generally, in my experience, I've always hunted with single shot uh, rifles up until uh, my sister started hunting, which is when I started using the 3030 that my dad owned because she was using the uh, 243 that was a single shot. 124 score moose. 
Hopefully my voice didn't just completely bug out there because I saw the calculating screen um, kind of stop. So if it did, I'll probably do a voiceover to fix that. But uh, there's another moose. Guess we'll just take her out while we're here. There's a tree in the way. We'll scoot down here. We should be able to get a good angle now. A little bit of grass in the way, but that's fine. So I'm guessing that was single lung because I saw the uh, bullet impact. Yep, she's down. I could tell that it wasn't too low. So this is going quickly. We already have four kills. We need five more. I don't want to spoil anything uh, as to what's going to be at the end of the video, but obviously there's a reason uh, for what's going on. But I've been hunting this map a good bit. I hosted uh, just last night for a couple of friends here. Uh, and I was using this rifle again, so that's why I'm already uh, near 100 kills with it. Just been using it a lot. I'd really like to kill a rare bison or a rare moose, though, especially for the uh, rares trophy lodge that I have going. I think that'd be really cool, especially a rare moose, because uh, specifically if it were a male, that would look really cool. Like, the albino especially, I think, uh, would be really nice in the rares trophy lodge. We do have lung blood here, so I would say the single lung shot guess was correct. Actually, that was double lung, and it didn't drop her. That's interesting. Even with the shoulder blade hit as well. All right, so we've got our first bison of the hunt, and actually there's another one behind it. That's a very small male. Let's see if we can spot that one in the back. That's a bigger female, but we'll take the male because it's a much more favorable shot. Even though the female is broadside. Should be able to make a good shot from here. So I imagine that would have went into the lungs. Yep, he's down. We'll let that female go because most likely we'll run into her. And there's no shortage of game here on White Rhyme, so I'm not concerned if we lose her. The thought just crossed my mind. Maybe that's why I never kill any rares on this map. I didn't really take the time to look around. Uh, but of course, when I'm recording a video like this, I do tend to uh, move a little quicker than I would otherwise. I don't know what I'd have done if I wasn't recording. Maybe I would have uh, stuck around and tried to see if there was anything else. But generally... And I think they can mix, but generally I'm pretty sure that uh, bison tend to be like all male and all female herds. I don't think they usually mix. 62 score on this guy. We had lung and intestine uh, on that shot, and the blood was from the intestines. That's interesting. But, four more to go. And I think, yeah, that's another bison. That might be the female that we just spooked. And I couldn't spot it before I went down below the hill. Get the spotting scope. Uh, that's another small male. We'll take it out once we get a clear shot. I want to... Oh, there's another one there. Just hiding behind the trees. Ooh, that's a better one at least. 105 to 130 male. And there's a bull moose. But it's quite small. We'll take the bison. Looked like a good hit to me. And down he goes. I think that might have been a pretty decent one. That was a pretty solid score estimate. Hopefully he's like above 110, 115. If he scores higher than 122, he will land a spot in the trophy lodge. The current bison that is sitting in there is 122. That one I didn't even record. I think I might have told this story, but I didn't realize it was that big when I shot it. Because I can't judge bison. It's very difficult, really, for me uh, to tell the difference. Maybe when I get high enough spotting level uh, to the point where it gives me a really small range, it'll be easier to tell. But he looked like any other 110, 115 bison to me. Get all these tracks for our tracking level, because I'm nowhere near level 20. We'll see where he scores, and the uh, moose and the bison that were here are still over there. He actually looks quite nice. 
116, that's a pretty nice bison. Alright, so that's a bit weird looking, but we'll go with it. Not quite worthy of a spot in the trophy lodge. And we can see that male moose. Guess we'll just shoot through the brush. So now I'm curious to see if that's going to be double lung. And he dropped it about the same uh, distance after running that the female did. So I'm going to guess that it is. And we are just quickly making our way to 100 kills with this rifle. I think we need two more. Yeah, because we needed nine and we've had all one shot kills. So this video is probably longer than I thought it would be already just because... Um, a lot of transitions just aren't happening because there's more animals uh, already in sight. I guess we'll just try to drop that female. wonder if we're going to be too low. Nah, we're good. That might not have been lungs. That might have been too low. Uh, nope, she dropped. Could have been intestines. That's actually my guess. She ran a bit further, I think, than the others, so we'll find out. So now comes the question, what is going to be our 100th kill with the 4570 Buffalo Rifle? Hopefully it's not a cow moose, unless it's a rare cow moose. That'd be kind of cool. But uh, I'm not going to pass up a cow moose just because I'd rather a cooler kill for my 100th one with the 4570 Buffalo. So let's see what we got here. That is a double lung shot. So that's interesting. I wonder if you have to catch another Oregon, but sometimes you don't, especially when they're close range. So maybe uh, at a certain distance, it is no longer able to drop a moose. But that one that we shot, it was uh, a very steep angle. So we probably did go through the liver or something uh, that I didn't notice. That's worth checking out because I'm pretty sure that the at least the 4570 lever action rifle can drop a moose with a double lung shot. So I'm going to have to look into that. And we did catch intestines on this female moose as expected. That low shot probably got it in the stomach. And with the caliber as big as the 4570, she's still not going to run very far. We'll see what we have. Liver and stomach. Not bad. Alright, so one more kill to go. Well, assuming all goes to plan, it looks like this tiny male bison, 5275 score estimate, is going to be our 100th harvest with the 4570 buffalo rifle. I just want to get to where we can get a nice clean prone shot. Just so we can be 9 for 9 and not have to use our 10th bullet. Actually, there's another couple of bison here. Let's see if they're any bigger. That one doesn't seem to be. Similar score estimate. Another small male. There might be a big male around here, though. Not looking good. They all seem to be quite small. Is that one that we've seen? It's obviously small as well that's not one that we've seen but all right in that case we'll just take the close one that's pretty much broadside actually it's going to charge us at least it's an action-packed last 4570 buffalo harvest as action-packed as it gets right there is that a moose that i just saw i think it went out of render might have been a decent moose. I'm going to go check that out. But let's just make sure that this is the 100th harvest. Brain shot. And that is indeed number 100. Now, normally I wouldn't like to end on such a small kill uh, for a video. But now you'll see what I was talking about at the beginning of the video as to why there's 11 kills in this video. So this was just trying to get up to the 90 kills uh, in order to record this video, and I ended up going to 91 uh, because of the next kill. But this is probably the weirdest looking moose I've ever seen. You can actually see its antlers are behind its ears, which is just really strange. You can see the bull moose there uh, is the inverse. His ears are well behind his antlers. So I just had to take this moose out. It was clearly 
just really, really strange. So we're taking it with the 4570 Buffalo rifle, of course. And he drops. And I wasn't recording my mic, so I was trying to show uh, from the back. You can see that his ears are, in fact, behind his antlers like a normal moose. I didn't do a great job of showing it, but you can kind of see it there. Yeah, it's quite obvious uh, that it is normal compared to this weird-looking moose. So we're just going to claim it and take a trophy shot because it's, I think, the weirdest-looking moose I've ever killed. So here he is for our trophy shot, and I actually decided that I was going to taxidermize him just to see if he would look just as strange in the lodge, because I was actually really curious. And this next kill actually comes with a story. So I have a friend that, since the trophy lodges came out, has been looking for a 200 plus moose to hang in his lodge. And as you can see, we have a 205 to 225 score estimate moose coming in. So obviously he's going to score over 200. Uh, but since that time, since the trophy lodges were first released, I have now killed six counting this moose, which obviously is in the video because we're going to get him uh, that scored over 200. And the only one that I killed while he was there was the first one that I got scoring over 200, which I won for my lodge because I had obviously not yet gotten one. Uh, but since then, I've hosted multiple games for uh, him to actually try to look for a 200 plus moose for him to take, and I can't find one. But every time I come here, without even having any intention of killing a big moose, I seem to do so. We had the two uh, while setting up the tents, and now this one while just trying to get uh, a couple of kills to raise my 4570 Buffalo rifle kills enough to do the video. Uh, so it just keeps happening. It's just weird. But as you can see, we dropped him here with the 4570 Buffalo rifle. Pretty nice moose. I was guessing, uh, again, I wasn't recording my mic, uh, that he would score just above 210. So we'll check out the rack a bit and then claim them and see if that is correct. So he actually surprised me a bit. 215 score. And as you can see here, our weird moose looks every bit as weird mounted on the wall in the trophy lodge as he did out on the White Rhyme Ridge. A couple of different poses just to look how strange that is that his antlers go all the way back behind his ears. It's just very weird looking. That's the most normal looking pose uh, of all of them. Especially when you do something like this, you can see just how backwards the antlers seem to be uh, so that's really interesting and I have him here in my rares lodge because uh, I consider him kind of a non-typical obviously he's not uh, it's just a interesting uh, random number generation uh, of the way his antlers work but he's going to stay here until I get something uh, to replace him all right so we're just setting up the trophy shot here of our 215 moose and it was weird to get him in the hunt before the video uh, but I just knew that I wasn't going to get anything better in this hunt to be honest so I had to record it and throw it in here we had a good hunt. We got our 100th harvest with the 4570 Buffalo Rifle, which is all I care about. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.